What if there was a little test that could predict the longevity of a love relationship, like your marriage? Well, researchers at the Relationship Research Institute actually do have a little test, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is so you can figure out whether or not you can pass it. So this is one of a series of coaching videos that I'm doing about how to close the gap between where you are and where you really want to be in those areas where you can tend to get stuck. And one of them for sure can be relationships. So positive emotion is actually a predictor of longevity in our relationships, particularly in marriages, but actually in all relationships, there is a ratio of positive interactions to negative interactions that we need to maintain. Now, in most relationships, we need to have at least three positives for every negative interaction in order for that relationship to flow. But in marriages, researchers have found that that ratio needs to be five to one. Yeah, five to one, five positives for every negative, or they've been able to predict with 91% accuracy, the likelihood of a divorce within 10 years, just by observing a couple talking for about 15 minutes and then coding their language and their body language, their interactions, their tone for positive and negative. So this is a simple one to try to remedy because when you realize that negative is more powerful than positive, you also realize that doing the positive things, responding in ways that are supportive, just being kind can have a tremendous impact on our relationships. So I've got just a couple of coaching questions for you. Number one, what do you think is the positive to negative emotion ratio in your relationship? And then number two, what could you do to improve that ratio? Coach yourself with those questions. You know, coaching is stopping and reflecting on the dilemma, the challenge, or the opportunity in front of you and asking the kinds of questions that help you get the answers that will move you forward. If you've ever considered coaching or wondered what it's all about, I highly recommend you check out the coach training intensive that we do live and virtually at the CAP Institute. Just go to capinstitute.com to check it out. But until then, in your relationships, every relationship, be more intentional about those positive interactions because inevitably negative things happen. But if we have continually just made positive deposits into that emotional bank account in our relationships, we can weather the negative, but we've got to be intentional.